how do you suggest parents better navigate that tightrope of jumping in to rescue their kids or just letting them go and like, well, they, they don't want to go to school today or they aren't feeling up to this or they're stressed. Because like you said, these kids will self-diagnose today um, and then they can use it as a reason why they don't want to do the thing that they don't want to do. And, and yeah. so it's a little bit of outsmarting the system. So when is it okay to be like, Hey, I don't care how you feel like you have to go to school or you have to get up at this time because it feels like for a lot of parenting teen relationships a day that the teenager has the upper hand and is kind of running the show and calling the shots. And, um, it's, it's very frustrating from the outside when you're talking to different people. Cause you're like, well, well, my kid doesn't want to do this. Like, okay, but who's the parent here? Who's, who puts food on the table? Who's, you know, who's well, in and charge? Then, yeah, we were talking about the importance of being uncomfortable. As a parent, it can be uncomfortable sometimes when you have, to, when you say this is the rule, you know, hopefully you've had the conversation on what the rule is, you've problem solved together. But, you know, when you say, hey, you, you, you agree to the rule or this is the house rule, you need to abide by it. And as a parent, we need to be able to feel more comfortable being uncomfortable with that. And if your child gets upset, to empathize, don't get mad at them. It's understandable. Like I, there's a saying, if I were you, I'd feel like that too. And that's because if you, if you have the same thoughts that your child has about whatever it is you're making them do, they're going to be, you know, they're going to feel angry and resentful, whatever, but you can have that conversation of the why realize that when they're in the red zone, those high levels of distress, no rational thinking matters. So don't even try to explain yourself, um, you know, help your child. Hopefully you've already, you have something in your, you know, systems in place for your child to have some healthy and helpful ways to get out of the red zone parents too. Um, and you know, it's, it's that proactive conversation of here's the house rule. Here's why it's important. So you have to wake up at seven. Do you want to set an alarm? You know, do you want your radio, your, your, um, clock to be next to your bed or on the other side of the room yeah yeah I love it I love it yeah you want Alexa to wake you up or do you want to use an old-fashioned clock like you know whatever it is so <laughs>